while staying up to accuracy on the North Magnetic Pole, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently released World Magnetic Model 2025, updating the magnetic North Pole's location and noting its movement as it drifts toward Russia. While the North Pole is a fixed location, the magnetic North Pole is the northernmost point in Earth's magnetic field, known as the magnetosphere, which is in relationship to the properties of the Earth's core. Sir James Clark Ross first discovered the North Magnetic Pole in 1831 in northern Canada, NOAA explains in a separate report, and since then, the pole has been moving across the Canadian Arctic toward Russia. The World Magnetic Model, or WMM, is updated every five years and updates the position for the accuracy of GPS units while predicting the movement and shifts of the magnetic pole for the next five years. The latest models include the first high resolution with an improved spatial resolution of approximately 300 kilometers at the equator compared to the standard spatial resolution of 3,300 kilometers at the equator, NOAA said, adding that higher resolution provides greater directional accuracy. The updates provide precise navigational data for all military and civilian planes, ships, submarines, and GPS units, NOAA explains. That the updated model is crucial for the United Kingdom and the United States governments, including the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and the U.S. Department of Defense, as well as organizations with an international remit such as NATO, to name a few. Smartphones and consumer electronics companies also rely on the update to provide accurate compass apps, maps, and GPS services. Scientists told news outlets that the major airlines and militaries in NATO would need to upgrade the navigation software in a huge number of systems across all types of equipment, but added that for most people, the switch isn't necessary. In the previous World Magnetic Model, researchers reported that in 2020, Scientists forecasted the accuracy of the North Magnetic Pole track for the latest model released for this year. However, scientists can't explain why the Magnetic North's pole movement dramatically sped up to never-recorded levels and then dramatically slowed down more recently. Scientists expect that the drift toward Russia will continue to slow, though there is some uncertainty about how long the slowdown will persist and if it will continue at its current pace, according to researchers. It could change its rate or even speed up again. Scientists will continue to monitor the field and to assess the performance of the WMM, but we do not anticipate needing to release a new model before the 2018 planned update in 2030. Earth's magnetic field has behaved even more dramatically in the past, with the magnetosphere weakening so much that its polarity reversed. This flips the magnetic north and south poles, and the change can last for tens of thousands of years. Scientists have estimated that this polar flip, which can take thousands of years to complete, happens about once every million years. Though the time between flips has varied greatly from 5,000 years to as much as 50 million years. The signs that precede such flips are also not well understood, making them difficult to predict. The last big flip was about 750,000 to 780,000 years ago. During a polar flip, animals that migrate using the magnetic field to find their way, such as whales, butterflies, sea turtles, and many species of migratory birds, could be affected. A flip would disrupt radio communication and scramble navigation systems, Orbiting satellites would be at risk, as a weakened magnetic field would offer less protection against space weather. While life on Earth has weathered multiple magnetic reversals over more than 100 million years, we've never experienced a reversal when modern technology was present. It would certainly be an interesting time for engineers to adapt our technology to, but hopefully one they'd have a slow, centuries-long build-up to, rather than any sudden change.